What's up guys, Graham here. Today we're going to talk about how to gear up in PvP. Now a lot of people are unsure exactly how they should do it and they're kind of confused on the currencies as well. So we're going to go over those and make sure you're going down the right path to gear up as fast as possible and to be effective in PvP. Of course the first thing that you need to do is actually get to level 65 which is the max level currently and that will allow it to where whenever you do a random war front you will get a chest which is called a marauder cache and you open it up and you have a 50 percent chance of getting a marauder armor piece or weapon or something else that's going to allow you to actually have some gear whenever you're going into pvp now you get a random warfront charge once a day but if you are a patron you are allowed to have three more warfront charges every week without having to spend any extra money besides actually being a patron which you can buy with credits as well if you want to go to the market and get some wrecks in order to become a patron so if you're a patron that is 10 times a week that you will have the opportunity to get a piece of gear from the marauder caches that you get from winning a warfront match and while you're winning these matches you will also get other currencies such as the abyssal marks uh fragments of horror and also some void stones and of course favor which has always been a part of pvp currency that is usually used to buy consumables and stuff like that but this time we're going to use it to actually upgrade our gear the two currencies that you need to be focused on are the abyssal marks and your favor because the abyssal marks are used to buy the abyssal crusader accelerators which are used to upgrade your gear and the favor is used to get the favor infused accelerators that is also going to be one of the major components into upgrading your marauder gear as i mentioned before you'll get these currencies from doing the random war fronts as long as you have charges built up and you'll get 400 abyssal marks per win we also have pvp weeklies that you can do which give you 650 abyssal marks per weekly and we have four pvp ones that we can do our weeklies include things such as winning conquest uh killing a lot of other players doing war front matches things like that and they're pretty easy to accomplish you may remember that i mentioned the void stones from before well they're not really a big part of our currency except for the fact that they can upgrade the marauder essences as well as buy your synergy crystal currently the synergy crystal costs about 15,000 void stones so make sure that you have those because the synergy crystal is very important and if you're up for doing things other than just pvp then there are of course the random expert dungeons that you can do and you'll get marks from the random dungeons as well to sum it all up and make it very easy on you Go to Dromheim, get all the PvP weeklies, which there should be four of them. Also get the weekly that requires you to do 30 instant adventures because that is so easy to get done. All you have to do is join an instant adventure and go around hitting the things that you need to hit and you'll have the 30 instant adventures done in no time, trust me. Also get the weekly that requires you to do four zone events because those are very easy too. If you go to the link in the description below this video, I will have a link where you can see where the zone events are happening so you know exactly where to go and all you have to do is run up and hit whenever the boss is spawned go up and hit the boss once and you are done you can leave right then and you'll see it pop up on your loot table that you will actually have the item needed to accomplish the four zone events now you can shortcut some of this stuff by going to the auction house if you have a lot of money on your character and buy the crafted gear and it's pretty easy to upgrade as well to actually get you on the playing field but i highly recommend you you do not spend your abyssal marks because you are going to need them to upgrade your marauder gear also do not spend your void stones until you have your synergy crystal because that is so important and you can save them in order to upgrade your essences but really it's not needed too much because the essences on the auction house are actually pretty cheap and they're very good so i recommend you buy your essences from there but you can get the marauder ones and upgrade them if you want with the void stones you have left over after you bought your synergy crystal you can and of course use that to buy the world gear if you like but really just buy it to patch in the spots that you don't have your marauder gear yet 
I hope you found this video very informative and I hope it's helped you out to gear up very fast in the nightmare tide. If you'd like to show this channel some support and you have not made your Rift account yet, then use my referral link in the description below and it will give you a lot of good stuff for whenever you start your Rift account, as well as put you on all my friends list and me on yours, that way we can play together once you are max level. Another way to support the channel is by hitting that donation link in the description below the video, but that's completely up to you, it definitely is not required. We have a lot of cool things that happen whenever people make donations, so keep that in mind. And if you'd like to see those things, then just look at the description below the video, and you'll be able to see it all down there. As usual, guys, my name is Grim, and I will see you next time.